Hello guys and welcome back to another Saturday Weed News <laughs> with the visual guys. How the devil are you doing it? Roll up shit. <laughs> Whilst probably not, you're completely right. Whilst Chris just uh, goes, oh, is that, is it? Thank you. <laughs> uh, we've, I'm not going to remember now for fuck's sake. We've got Bigfoot, pickled humans as opposed to pickled Rick. Um, did I say Bigfoot? Bigfoot and zombie sex doll. We got there, Chris. Hit us with the first one. 20-year-old Felicity is from... Rhode Island. She got given dolls by her father at a young age, and she was like, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But as the years gone on, he brought more dolls in for her, which is like, fair enough. And then sadly, back in 2017, her father passed away. So all she really had was these dolls. So, and these are these are a good sized doll, not just your little dolls. These are your, like they're a decent sized doll. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, she's got. I think she says she's got about ten dolls, which like fair enough, a bit creepy, but fair enough. But then last year, back in two thousand and eighteen, she decided to marry one of her dolls, named it Kelly, and made it look a bit like a zombie. Weirdly, yes. In fact, they're, they're all look like zombies now, and she's even married Kelly. Now, Kelly is a 37-year-old doll, I think she said it was. <clears throat> yeah, she's happily married to it now. She, she, The rest of the dolls even went to her wedding of support. <laughs> of course they did. Of course they did. <laughs> and she even now announced that she wants to start a family, a.k.a. bring children. She wants kids. She hasn't specified... Well, she, she kind of hasn't. She hasn't... She's either she's going to adopt children, or she's going to try and get a sperm donor. Either way, she is happily married, and she has seems no harm in it bringing children into her environment. She has, however, moved to Oklahoma. I hate yours. <laughs> yes, uh, is it Oklahoma? I believe so. Yes, it was Oklahoma. <laughs> she has moved to Oklahoma. And she wants to start a new life with a sex doll and kids. Mm. I'll just let you use. Hold on that. Yeah, just be kind. Uh, an African now Zodwa. I, I I hope to God I'm pronouncing that right. Is that just how it was spelled Zodwa? Yeah. Yeah. Right. I fucking hope to God. It was a surname, but it's like nah, no chance. Oh, it was a really long. Right. Yeah, fucking our pronunciation w games. Why B? <laughs> our pronunciation games sometimes is bad as well. But anyway, Zodwa from Africa shared an Instagram picture of her climbing into a her new coffin and explained why she bought it. Explains death is a taboo subject for. Did you watch Taboo? No. With Tom Hardy, there's only a few episodes. It's fucking phenomenal. It actually is really good. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> watch it. It's fucking brilliant. Uh, it's a taboo subject, but we're all going to die someday, unless you're me and you're immortal. Oh, and actually, no. Chris is the immortal one. We all know why. Um, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> yeah, she decided to buy said coffin, and she has chose to sleep in it every night until the day that she comes. Where she dies. Is that it? That's not it, is it? Please turn over. This says a please turn over. Right, so yeah, she sleeps in it and stuff. She's, she, she wants to get in it. She wanted to buy a coffin before she died. Uh, because when I am gone, she is going, that's going to be her home for the next, and she, I quote, a hundred years or so. Uh, and guess how much the coffin costs, Chris? You already know because you wrote this down. You already know. £8,540. That's how much it costs. What money do they have in Africa? I have no idea. I actually have no idea. Um, how does she know it's 100 years? Well, I, I that... don't you get buried for 100 years, and after 100 years, you can get moved along. What, like taken out? Yeah. Well, how long does it take to decompose? I don't know. What a weird subject. Um, yeah, it might be longer. So, like, take. Wait, wait, so when you're dead for 100 years, someone's like, right, you've been there too long, pal, fuck off. Unless you're, unless you're someone important. 
Is that is that a thing? That I, I, can't, so. I did not know that. That is that's a bit of a dick move. <laughs> yeah, no. That's your final resting spot. It's supposed to be R.I.P. Not rest for a hundred years and you're but, getting told to fuck. So even when you're dead, you can get evicted. <laughs> but everyone, I don't know how it works. But obviously, there's not enough grave land to bury them on, aren't there? Well, just bury them deeper and then put someone on top. Well, you can't because somebody else might be on top. Like well, yeah. Like family, family. Well, come a bit further. Like I, said, I don't know how it works. I'm the, yeah, Undertaker. Um, right. The Undertaker. He's retiring now. I've seen that. That's a, a bit of a side <laughs> tangent there. I've, I've heard that. Uh, but yeah, there, there we go, Zodwa. Um... You kind of cool. This is at least that's not a hundred percent weird. There is some sort of there is logic behind it. Yeah, I suppose. but I wouldn't spend nearly nine grand for nah, a coffin. Nah, just probably a cardboard box. It's probably the sea. That's what I mean. In the sea. Yeah, Ooh, that's what I want to go. I hope it's like a ship just hits you. And you... Well, no, I think Donna. I hope you get eaten <laughs> by Jaws. That would be pretty cool because you're already dead. So at least you can... uh, the next story. <laughs> next story. Henry owns a shop in Essex. It is on a corner. <laughs> that's, that's what I know. Cola, <laughs> sort of cola. He sells weird and wonderful items ranging from ten pound all the way up to two thousand six hundred and fifty pound. When you walk into the shop, you get a Scandinavian feeling, followed by a sage mist, which is meant to represent mist. <laughs> what? I don't know. See, I said that a bit weird. But there's more. Incense, I meant. There's a sage intent, incense smell. Incense. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Which is a... Shut up. It's a mist. <laughs> and the items that he sells is in pickled... Pickled jars. And it contains human body parts. Skin off the human. And also... Stuffed animals. It is a weird and wonderful shop, as I've announced, and he's even said not a lot of people are into it, which you can kind of understand because it's a bit creepy, a bit creepy, but uh, yeah, they're for sale. Why would you want to buy a jar of human skin? I have no idea. But it does say though that you have to change the water every so often and any fit, any bits of skin that floats at the bottom have to be removed. So you better take it back to the shop and he does it all because he's all got the right chemicals and all that stuff. So if you are wanting a jar of human skin, <laughs> get yourself to Essex, it's on the corner and yeah, it's on the corner, it's, it's on a corner. Yeah. Weird. A, lo a large creature which appeared to be uh, furry and black uh, in northeast Utah. Shit, have I missed out on something else there? A big creature that it's Bigfoot in northeast Utah. Is it confirmed? I, I haven't read the full story. Northeast Utah, Utah creature. Furry. Is it not an Ewok? They're small. Uh, there's another part I need to read. I'll uh, I'll read that bit and get back to you. <laughs> there was actually video evidence which we <laughs> don't have to show you. Uh, <laughs> and somebody actually read about that on one of the old news. That you don't show video. Uh, it's because we're extremely low budget and low tech. Okay, sorry. Yeah, get um, on it, dude. And uh, or, I'll do this. I'll do that. Ah, we PC. <laughs> uh, but yes, uh, it shows a creature climbing up the mountain face range. Mount climbing up. Uh, is it Bigfoot? Does Bigfoot exist? Uh, is this is a question that's been going on for years. Really, we've done nothing to uh, further develop the story and come to a conclusion of Bigfoot. We're, no. we're merely just saying someone else has said someone found him. And is it possible? Is it really? One thing is confirmed. That's a square. Illuminati. Time for the sports and. Ooh. Uh, where this week we're going to take the weather is quite literally we have a cat and he's like it's raining but he's confused why is he confused we'll find out why he's cat's confused water. oh this one <laughs> don't know what that face was it's really a simple kind of scenario well but, but this this cat isn't isn't a monk it's that's not what's confusing the cat the cat is dry it's 
well, you'll see. And uh, the sport, we've got a new sport. It's called uh, Be Fat and Slide and Roll. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Chris, edit that clip in. <laughs> Usually people would say, oh, but Chris has to edit this. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Sports. Yeah. Whatever. Fuck you. The weather. There we go. That was this week's sport and <laughs> um, where do you ever scratch yourself like a dog? No. I watch my dog do it, but it doesn't quite work. And um, uh, oh, fuck's sake, I'm, uh, side tangents are a weakness of mine. Chris, where are we at now? Chris has had one story. Ah, there we go. Here's, here's the beloved remote. And uh, there's Chris. There you go. There's Chris. Chris is happy time. My hot warmer story this week involves one guy, one car, <laughs> and the reunion. Oh. I finally got my car back, people, after oh, six right. weeks of not having. Is that one good? Seven weeks of yeah. not having a car. I finally got it back, but there is a bit of a sad news. She will be going shortly because she, I think she's came to the end of her tether. So let's say farewell. Cuddled Mrs. Blue. I feel like I should be with you and just you carry on and not she let has you been around for almost five years. We have done many miles, had some laughs, had some cries. But Blue, the car or the animal. Glossoraptor. Is, yeah. Fictional. It's, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's sadly going shortly. Oh, say she will be replaced you by a younger model, a young, a more, a more attractive model, bless her. But as they say, there's many, plenty more fish in the sea, and time will move on. I forgot what I was in the song. It's okay, I finished. I was trying to be mellow, so you, I love you. Say your final words. I'll do it again. We love you. Uh, no, no, carry on. Oh, Canada, a brave. Not existing Canada. <laughs> A dons, happy ending. And so from that was that was not really a heartwarming. It was like yay, and then you're like, I'm gonna have to get rid of her. Yeah. And then you're also gonna have to fork out shit of the money. Yeah. So it's just sad, sad. It's like yeah, ah, uh, uh, all in a wanna. Yeah. Uh, but more importantly, Chris, I found the answer to one of men's most asked questions. What's men's most asked What do question? women do in the toilets? Poop. Girls don't poop. <laughs> What a fucking idiot. How do girls poo? <laughs> girls don't poo, mate. You're so strange. What? <laughs> Here's what they do. Because uh, this is my drunken moment. I got drunk. I pretended to be. Because if I went, now I look like a girl. So they, I walk straight in. You're trans. You're, you're gender sizing yourself. Right? Uh, excuse me if I want to be a g In fact, yeah, I don't even need to look like a girl. I'm a girl, <laughs> and I walked into the toilet, and this is what goes down in the girls' toilets. If you're you a toilet ring around the neck, because I'm going. Oh my god, <laughs> what have you been watching? <laughs> Yeah, just ignore Chris's last comment. But yeah, you've seen what happens in the girls' toilets. Chris already knew. I want to know because you've never identified as a girl. How did you know that? Got my ways. I can't do a triangle anymore. I've got my ways. I know you do. I know you fucking do. Hey, I know you do. How do you know what girls get up to? How do you know that they poo? That's a conspiracy by itself. You're a fucking weird bloke. Visuals, that was this week's edition of the news. Say goodbye to a car. Uh, go get some skin. Uh, we've done nothing to develop the finding of Bigfoot. There's no reason we should salute. His car never served in the army. Whatever story was there. Uh, marry a zombie doll. Uh, and keep being you and keep on keeping on. I'll be back. <laughs>